So for this project you will need uh, five colors. I'm using white for the petals of my flower, yellow for the center, green for my leaves, I'm going to do a pink ladybug, and I need black for my ladybug as well. You can use any colors. These are just the ones that I'm going to use. These are all size 10 seed beads. You will also need a clasp of your choice and at least two meters of fishing line. If you haven't already, go watch the previous video that I made on how to size your barefoot sandal. So that way you can make one that fits your foot. So to start, we're going to make the toe ring part. So you're going to want to bead on enough beads to make a toe ring for your toe. Here I have about 50 green beads and just let them fall to the center of your fishing line. Now what you need to close this off is you will need two black beads on one end of your fishing line and then take the other end of your fishing line in your other hand and you're going to pass it back through. See? So grab that short bit and just pull it down. Make sure your fishing line doesn't get tangled. But see, there's those two black beads. So next you need three black beads. Thread your end through just like we did before. Grab the two short ends and pull. Okay, and then just keep pulling till it gets down to the bottom. So now what you want to do is you want to click the link um, and watch my video on how to make um, beaded ladybugs. And in the video it tells you to bead on five black beads and then to go pass back through three to make your first two rows there. These are those. So where it tells you to bead on the first five beads, skip that. And then what I want you to do is just to make one ladybug all the way to this back row and finish at that row of three. And then meet me back here. So now you should have something that looks like this. So what I need for my barefoot sandal is about eight and a half centimeters for the length between my toe and my anklet. This ladybug is equal to two centimeters and this daisy is equal to two centimeters. So you can kind of figure out your pattern um, and kind of work it in so that it'll fit your foot. What you're going to do is you're going to use these green beads in the middle as spacers. Now in here I have eight beads and for me that equals one centimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these green beads to do the spacing to make the difference that I need for the length of my barefoot sandal. You may need to use more or less depending on your foot size. For mine, I need one centimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread on eight green beads on this side. I'm going to thread on eight green beads on that side. This will make your leaf. Now what we want to do is we want to close the leaf but we want to start the flower. So you'll need your flower color. I'm using white. You'll need one white bead. And just like we've been doing before, just take the other end of your fishing line and just thread it back through. Okay. Okay. There you go. So now this white bead is the beginning of your flower pattern. So watch the video link below here and in that video I show you how to make the flower. And then once you've done one whole flower, I'll meet you right back. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this row of green 
So you'll need eight green beads and eight green beads because remember I wanted a centimeter. Now to close it, we're going to do another ladybug. So the first row, just like we did for this green, we're going to do two black beads. Okay, so here are my two black beads. Just going to go back through them like we did before. Just pull it down tight. And there you go. So do one more ladybug up here. Something I just want to point out. So if you look at this ladybug, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. The two is on the bottom. There's three on top. And then see how it goes from bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. It kind of zigzags. And the pattern's on top. You want to make sure the same happens here. So you want to make sure the two is on the bottom and then the row of three is on top, three on the bottom, four on top, four on the bottom, and then your row of pattern on top. Okay? If it's not, and see how that one's kind of curling? Then just kind of play around with your fishing line. So just you just want to make sure that your pattern is on top for both of your ladybugs because you don't want to have this one upside down. If you notice that your work is doing this, like, like so I've just finished doing this row and I want to pull it tight because it's my next top row. But if you find that your fishing line is doing this and curling under your work instead of going up where you want it to go and it's going in the opposite direction all it is is your fishing line is twisted so what you need to do is just pull it loose and then just take your work and pop it through the loop and just kinda twist it and then this should work see how now it's up top and it's sitting nicely okay so there you are. Now I measured wrong on mine. I needed eight and a half centimeters and this only works out to eight because this is two, this is one, so that makes three. This is two, that makes five. Plus one is six, seven, eight. So I'm half a centimeter short. Now what you could do is you could do a little green leaf if you wanted to just to even it out and make up the space. Um, depending on your foot, um, but because it's only really half a centimeter, I'm just going to add an extra half a centimeter in my ankle just to make up for it. So my ankle will be just a little bit on the loose side, but that's okay. So now you should have something that looks like this. Now for me, I need an extra half a centimeter to make up my eight and a half. So what I'm going to do is half a leaf. So here I used eight so I'm going to thread on four green beads on either side. Take one green bead and then with the other hand, like we did for all the others, you're going to put your end through and grab those two ends and just pull that down. Okay? And what that's going to do is that's going to finish off your leaf. So now what you want to do is you're going to do the anklet part. So for your anklet part, what you can do is you can do like a plain anklet or you could do, if you wanted to carry on the daisy theme, you could do just like a regular daisy stitch going up here and up this one. That would be neat, but what I did was I wanted to keep it simple, so I just thread on enough green beads on either side to make an anklet. Um, in my case it was about 11 centimeters. Make sure everything's nice and snug and down tight. So now to finish it, what you're going to do is you're going to take one end of your fishing line and you're going to take your clasp and you're just going to thread it through Uh, 
Okay. Make sure everything's nice and snug. And all you're going to do is tie a knot and you're going to do the same thing to this side. So now you should have something that looks like this all tied up. Now once you've tied a couple knots on either side, what you're going to do is you're going to take your, so this end we're going to take, just trying to hold it here so you guys can see. So we're going to take this tail and just kind of hold the knot out of the way, but you're going to go right back up your work. Just thread that tail back in through your work, about an inch or so. It doesn't have to be exact. Wherever the tail comes out, that's fine. Just pull it tight. Now, if your knot isn't too big, if you pull on this tail and hold the beads, did you hear that? It snapped inside that bead, so now the knot is completely hidden. You can't tell that there ever was a knot there. Okay, now just trim your tail, just like that. And if you didn't get quite close enough like I did, that's okay. If See where it comes out? If you just pull those beads apart, it'll just kind of hide itself in there. Do the same to this side, and you're done. And there you go. A ladybug and daisy beaded sandal. Now if you wanted to, um, you don't have to do the two ladybugs and then the daisy. If you wanted to, you could switch it up and you could put two daisies and one ladybug. Or you could flip this ladybug around so they were both facing the flower. Um, yeah, switch it up and let me know what you do.